How's it going guys? I'm Nate the Phenom of Phenom Studios here with you for another Schoolism vlog. Um, so, I was supposed to post this video yesterday and Thursday, today's Friday. I'm about to run to work, so I'm trying to get this video done and uploaded before work. Uh, so I wanted to make this real quick. This week started off with, uh, I, had, I had, my friend wanted some logos, so I was working on logos and then uh, I still was working on some other videos to edit, uh, like uh, the, the Ultron, uh, Ultracon I was still um, working on. I just now uploaded that today, day three. I did the first two days, but the con was two weeks ago, so a little late on that. But um, yeah, things, things just kept getting in the way, so I actually skipped a few days of schoolism. Not good. But uh, towards the end of the week, I buckled down and, um, and I did some stuff. So this week was going over, again, painting on canvas. And he really wanted us to focus on temperature and atmospheric perspective, meaning in value, and also value. So like when you're looking at something, um, say this is gray, this is a gray shirt. He wanted us to focus on finding the colors in the gray. So it's not... It's not just gray, there's there's blues in here, there's a yellow light on me, so you can probably see that there's, there's some yellows in the gray. There's all sorts of different colors reflect, reflecting off of off the shirt and adding. He just wanted us to work on our eye, our eyes, you know, really we're looking really hard. And then with, uh, so I'll, I'll just do the first, I, I, did, I ended up doing two assignments, so this week. So this one, I, I just noticed I had paint on it. I've been noticing, man, I, I keep getting, paint on it like once I'm done with the painting and I'll start a new painting I end up getting paint on the older one so just notice wait no maybe that was on purpose it was just there's this I think I actually did that on purpose so that's good um, but I did mess up on some other stuff I'm gonna show you uh, so it goes this is like this it's very it's crop it's not cropped very nicely I, I kind of rushed through this but it, we were supposed to set up an all white um, white what would you call it? A setup, just a bunch of white objects, and and um, and do it. Find the color in them. Nothing is really actually white. Uh, there's a, I put like a my red Spider-Man mask off off uh, out of the picture here, so there's red reflecting in here, and um, it's a you know you get the gist. There's just all sorts of colors and. This wasn't meant to be realism. I wasn't trying to get the perfect accuracy of the object. This is supposed to be a t-shirt. You hold a t-shirt, you probably can't tell. A mug, some clip for a bag, a bag of chips. This is a plastic mask. And this is a little box, but can't really tell. Um, but the point of this was just to push the colors. And I did. I accomplished that. Uh, I'm not making the mistake of taking too much time and, and dwelling too much on, on one particular thing. Uh, that, that's, not, that's not the objective here. It, it, it's all about the color. So as long as I got the color down, that's good. The next one was atmospheric perspective. He said to do four to eight uh, little paintings. I did four. Um, and I'm actually really happy with this. Pretty happy. It's, it's challenging too, to, to make something proceed in the background, especially when you're painting. Uh, this is not digital, so you can make mistakes and clean it up and, and keep trying and, and experimenting. You can do that here as well with traditional, it's just harder. <laughs> it's harder to clean up mistakes. Uh, so this is what I ended up doing. My fir the first one I did was this desert landscape, then a snow landscape, then I did a cityscape, and then I did this kind of beachy landscape. As you see here, this is my desert landscape, first, second, third, fourth, I got some snow clouds flickered onto here, unfortunately. Um, I hate that the the, power, the paint keeps receding onto the border. I put tape here and it just like gets under the tape, so I'm gonna go over this with white and try to clean that up. But this looks really, I'm really happy with this. But this sky looks pretty amazing. And I'm pushing colors, so like, maybe this guy wasn't as pink, but I made it more pink and as an artist, you, um, you have you have um, the authority to do so. You don't have to keep make it photorealistic. You don't have to follow the photo. You can add things, you can add bushes or rocks if you wanted to, 
I didn't do that, but I did manipulate color. I'm not gonna get the exact color anyways. I, I'm working with five colors. I only have five different colors to work with. I don't, I'm not buying more. Um, so I'm just using what I have, and I'm able to stretch those colors and do all sorts of cool things with it. Um, like this, is, this hell top back here is receding. That's really cool. This mountain here, I think, looks like it's behind everything. These trees look like they're in the back. This this tree out front, obviously, is bigger and brighter and takes the focus, so that's cool. This is obviously in the front. Those are in the back, so. Mission accomplished, I think. I think so. I think so. I don't know if the camera was capturing it down here. I apologize. Sorry. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um, this is the last one I did. I spent over an hour on that one. That one looked cool. These are probably my two favorite. Yeah, the farther you are, the better it looks. Because everything is starting to me uh, mesh in together. Here's a. I'm gonna show you what it looks like up close. So you can see like the brush strokes. Just blobs of paint. Blobs of paint. But yeah, this course is a long one. A lot of, there's nine different assignments in this one course, and I, this one, the atmospheric perspective was six, I believe. So I have seven, eight, nine, three more to go. Don't know what I'm gonna get into now. Uh, maybe I could, maybe I'll have all three done by next week. Um, it's gonna be a busy week, and I'm working. I have an event try to squeeze it in but it might take me a week and a half to leave so we'll see but yeah that's that's what went down this week John Burton is the man he's the teacher that I've learned from and learn a lot I, I, I hope this just applies to I really want to get into comic book art and anatomy and superheroes and, and, and stuff so they don't have a course on that on comics so I'm gonna have to do my own do, do, due diligence and look up YouTube videos. There's plenty of videos on comic anatomy, so I'll do that. But the point of me saying that is, I, I, I hope and I'm, I'm, I know that the stuff here is gonna help me in the future with any future comic stuff I do, because you definitely need to know stuff like this color. I, I do like, I do like color and visually coloring it too, and um, it's just gonna help me down the line. So that's good. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, stick around for the next next week's video, and uh, please leave a comment of what you thought. And uh, see you next time. See you now.